Welcome to the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division One sports. Join the Maroon Club today. Our Coca-Cola player of the game experienced the Coke side of life. And just a correction on the final score, 62 to 59. They did give Kyle Stout those last points. All right, here's Mike. Thanks, Gary. Here with Coach O. Coach, uh, obviously things didn't go the way you want, but that's a better basketball team. You know that than obviously two and nine. Well, yeah, they have one of the best players in the league, and Jordan Cohen, and uh, the kid Nick Lynch is a hand. I mean, they're they're good. Uh, they lost some close games. We've won a lot of close games, fortunately, and this wasn't one of them. But uh, the league is uh, well balanced, as we know, and uh, and you know I think our first half uh, we really uh, put us in a hole there. And, uh, you know, I mean, injuries are part of it. Losing Lucas, we had cut it to three, and then we don't have Lucas uh, at the end. He had, was having a big game in the second half. But, you know, th these things happen. Yeah, that, that was my next thing, losing Jer Lucas. You obviously not only lose him on the offensive end where he was doing the job down low, but defensively he adds that length and he adds that senior leadership. Yeah, he's one of our better players yeah. for sure. But, yeah, as I said, these things happen, and uh, can't cry about it. We're still in the game, and we have opportunities, and uh, – we didn't make the shots, and they did. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's bring EJ in here. EJ, Coca-Cola player of the game, 14 points. Obviously, just things just weren't falling offensively. It looks like you were getting good shots. Some days they just don't fall. Yeah, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know. Uh, I know we're one of the better shooting teams in the nation. Um, we got great shooters just weren't falling today. Um, just get back in the lab, keep working, and we'll get back to it. And that's exactly it, to get back in the lab. And it's not so much about the execution. I thought defensively you guys really locked down in the second half. Yeah, we played good D in the first half. We only held them to 31. Yep. Um, they only had about 30 points in the second half, too. So uh, that's something we've been focusing on in practice um, and just, just going to score today. And then what's that message when you walk in that locker room? Everybody keep their heads up, right? Yeah, got to keep your heads up. Um, season's not over. Still a long way to go. Just got to keep fighting. Um, you know, I love these guys, but, you know, just, just keep working, keep getting better, and just go from there. A lot of highs and lows this season, but a lot more highs. Keep it going. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, back to you. All right, Mike, thank you very much. And uh, obviously a tough, tough day for the Leopards. We've got highlights. John will take you uh, through those highlights. Yeah, Gary, it was a game that was just uh, hard fought all game long. And, uh, you know, again, Jared Cohen doing a nice job kind of distributing the ball early on. That was Wilson. This guy down low, I'll tell you what, Jameer Wilson uh, just did a great job. He always seemed to be around the basketball. And uh, how about the freshman? Uh, I'll tell you, Fenton did a great job for this basketball team. I'll tell you, Reed Fenton, only a freshman, stepped up big time. And uh, really, uh, kind of at times, this was a big three-point play down the stretch. And then late buckets, uh, again, Nick Lynch, uh, you heard Coach O'Hanlon talk about his big body in the middle. The dribble drive by uh, uh, Wilson that time, dumping it off to Lynch, and Lynch with a mid-range jump shot. The young freshman from Lafayette Boyle doing a terrific job. Uh, doing his part. Those five quick points that seem to uh, kind of uh, uh, ignite a stagnant offense in the first half. And then this guy, boy, without him down the stretch, Lucas Jarrett, uh, nine first half points and picked up right where he left off in the second half. Watch the move facing the basket. He was such a difficult matchup at six sevens and mobile. Losing him was huge. EJ Stevens, our Coca Cola player of the game. Uh, running the offense perfectly, constant motion, doing a terrific job on the finish right there. And watch as he loves this little pull-up jump shot, especially as you suggested, Gary, going to his left, the catch and shoot. E.J. Stevens quietly been a, a, a really, really key player for the Leopards this year. The loss of Alex Petrie uh, kind of mitigated a little bit uh, by the emergence of E.J. Stevens. But, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, without uh, Justin Jaworski down the stretch, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Lucas Jarrett yeah. down the stretch. And an underperforming uh, 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 Justin Jaworski made it really difficult for the Leopards. Jaws with just nine points. It was E.J. Stevens with 14 to lead the Leopards. Jarrett and O'Boyle with 11 each. But Lehigh, on the other hand, five guys in double figures, four of them with 12 points, one of them with 13. That was Jamira Wilson. He also had 15 rebounds. He was certainly the difference in today's ball game. Lafayette shot just 22% from beyond the arc. They will not win with that percentage. Lehigh goes to 6 and 18, 3 and 9. They stop a seven game losing streak. Lafayette goes to 15 and 8, 7 and 5 in the Patriot League, and they stop a four game winning streak. As the final score, Lehigh 62, Lafayette 59. For John Leo and Mike Joseph, the RCN television team, headed up by Rick Gio, we thank you for spending a Saturday afternoon with us. We'll see you on Wednesday when the women entertain the cadets of Army. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye, everybody.